Oh my. Heidi stirred up a, a bee's nest. Look at them all. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. All right, so we came back to the yard being just disastrous. And uh, I got busy with my son's fan. Remember, I said it broke down. Heidi uh, did all the string trimming and she stirred up those bees. <laughs> They're down in the ground bees. I don't even know where they came from because they just must popped up within the last uh, month, I guess. So what I'm doing today is, well, Heidi, like I said, she did all the string trimming and I've been working on my son's van. What he thought was a uh, transmission problem was actually something going on with the brakes. Whenever I took it out for a drive, uh, the first time that it, we had that problem or that he had the problem I couldn't find anything wrong with it I did everything I could and it, it drove fine so then uh, I uh, at that point told him don't worry about it it seems fine I don't know what was going on but it didn't happen you know for me so then he drove it almost the exact same route the very next day and whenever he did he broke down in almost the exact same place within I would have to say three quarters of a mile so I told him stay where you're at I'm getting in my truck I'm coming up there and you can see my, our truck still loaded with all of our stuff from the trip so I went up and got in his van he got in my truck and followed me and I started driving his van and immediately the thing just started like falling on its face you was giving it gas the the engine was working real hard but it wasn't going anywhere and it felt like a problem that I had with a transmission years ago that a kick down lever stuck in the uh, down position for whatever reason but this don't have a kick down lever these work off of throttle uh, cables um, throttle valve cables so uh, not getting too technical if I haven't already gone there uh, I brought it back and I thought okay it I smell the asbestos let me check and I checked all the brakes and both the front brakes were equally hot now here's the thing if you have a brake that's hanging up because of a brake hose which I'll tell you about that in a second or a brake caliper usually it's one side not both sides and usually it pulls real hard to the left or to the right whichever one's hanging up this wasn't doing that this wasn't pulling to the left or the right it was equally slowing down the van so whenever it was slowing down the van on the way back um, I, I let off the gas and I mean it immediately started braking on its own and all I did was just tap the brake real quick and it like released so Heidi and I drove this thing to death trying to get it to repeat itself and do the same thing I couldn't get it to do it again so what you got to do is you got to fix what you know is a problem and I know that his pedal was really low. Whenever I tried to pry the caliper off, like I normally do, um, it didn't want to come off until I backed off the uh, screw or the uh, bolt that uh, holds the brake line on. So that tells me there's obstruction in the brake line most likely. Now I went ahead and flushed and cleaned out the master cylinder and uh, like I said, uh, bled the master cylinder to make sure that there was no problems there. And as far as the brake hoses, let me tell you why brake hoses do what I just described. What happens is brake hoses have a tendency to deteriorate on the inside. And whenever they deteriorate on the inside, a lot of times they start getting smaller inside. They start shrinking inside. The outside of the hose looks fine, the inside of the hose just becomes smaller as far as the passage that the brake fluid has to go through. So whenever you push the brake pedal, the master cylinder and the booster helps you through mechanical advantage to push brake fluid down into the brake caliper and apply pressure. Again, there's a mechanical advantage to where when you push up here with your foot, although it feels very little, there's a lot of pressure being squeezed onto that rotor to stop it. It's squeezing both those brake pads to grab that rotor. Whenever you release your foot, the only thing that allows those brake pads to back off of the rotor once they're squeezed on there 
is just the natural movement of the rotor. Just a little bit of variance in the rotor. Just the, the ever so slight, <laughs> you know, resistance that the rotor puts against those pads. If those pads try to stay, the rotor just kind of bumps them or rubs them and they, they push themselves out of the way just a little bit, not very much. That way when you're getting ready to push the brake the next time, they're ready to grab. They're right there, right where they need to be. Well, needless to say, the pressure that's being applied to take those brake pads off of the rotor is far less powerful than what you can do with your foot and the master cylinder and the brake booster and the mechanical advantage that you have pushing that fluid through the hose in the first place. So that's what's going on. You have all this pressure being forced through this little tiny hose that has shrunk, but once it gets into the brake caliper and you release the brake as far as your foot off the pedal, now that brake caliper with its little bitty tiny movement can't move those pads out of the way. It just can't push them back. That's what's going on. I'm going to replace the brake hoses. Uh, they're, as far as I can tell, original. I mean, this thing has a lot of original stuff on it. Even the coil springs are the original coil springs. Everything's original. So that's what we're doing. I just wanted to chime in and give you this whole little mechanical tip. So if you're out somewhere and you don't understand why your brake is hanging up, uh, go ahead and take a look at your brake hose. Uh, it could be if it's old, it's time to replace it. And unfortunately, you have to bleed all your brakes at that time. And also, usually when your brake hangs up, you damage your rotor and scorch your pads. So you're usually replacing your pads and your rotor too. New day. It's warm out. Trains are flying. <laughs> and I'm still in the middle of this. Uh, we had some storms that were brewing off in the distance. And... I thought for sure that we were gonna get poured on uh, so much so that Heidi said do you need help I'll get all this stuff and help you you know put all this stuff away and I uh, said no no I should be able to get it and I hurried up and I rushed and I put everything away and then the storms never never developed so talk about twice the work <laughs> I hate being in the middle of the job and then having to stop and do what we did yesterday I'm telling you on the radar there was a line of storms and it, it just I mean it looked like there was no way these storms were gonna miss us well those storms just disappeared it just shrank and disappeared off the radar before they got here it's, it's weird how that stuff works so basically I gotta finish this job out so I thought I was gonna save his rotors uh, his rotors looked really good the thickness was the same as the new rotors uh, all except for like ten thousandths. So I thought, you know what? These are these are pretty good. I can save him some money because I don't see anything wrong with them. So I put the new bearings in the the old rotor on this side. Then I got to the other side, and the damn rotor had some uh, marks on it. I'm gonna get dirty doing this without gloves, but yeah, this is the the kind of things that. You don't necessarily see, especially with that dust shield on there, but um, the rotors have the, these here, these these marks, I could just chisel rust out of it. I mean, just continuously chisel rust out of it. If you don't know, inside uh, drums and rotors, uh, somewhere on there, they're gonna tell you the minimum uh, thickness that this can be turned down to on a machine. Now, I'm not a huge fan of getting rotors turned. Uh, they've gotten cheaper over the years to where it's not really feasible. You can just, it's all that China steel. The problem is, is if this is Chinese steel, which this says made in Canada, when they're brand new is okay and usually get by. Um, if you turn it down, since it's not necessarily good quality steel like old automotive manufacturers used to make you know there's there could be an issue so I, I just don't bother turning rotors any longer so I put the new rotor on now I'm going to the back he has a leaky wheel cylinder on this side which I didn't even suspect to tell you the truth so uh, we do have new wheel cylinders uh, of course I have new drums and new shoes his drums look pretty good. I've got to get some measurements on those to see if they've been turned. 
If not, we're just going to throw new drums on there. Nice thing is he's going to have basically all new brakes on the van. Hopefully this solves the problem. Now, for everyone that's been watching and hoping for the, fan, the van build thing, well, I'll tell you that right now, as far as the RV is concerned, that project's kind of finished. I, I still need to do something about the generator on the tongue. Uh, it's not a priority right now. The van is the next priority, as this wood that's been sitting back here, this plywood, uh, that's, this, that's what this is for. He's got a bunch of screws that he bought, a bunch of plywood, and he has a bunch of wood. We're going to build the shelves inside the, the van. Um, he might have to make some sort of countertop inside there. And he's got all kinds of little doodads that we need to add. We need to build a shelf for the uh, refrigerator, freezer. Got that to where it's on a slider. We're going to put it on a slider. Uh, we've got the, the mount flange for the, uh, the commode, the um, uh, little Thetford thing that he has. Um, that will go into the back and it will come out so where he could use it I mean we we got a lot of good plans for this thing and, and, and we've started a lot and we have a lot of video already for this series uh, it's just you know projects pile up like this really quick and it's kinda hard to compartmentalize everything and make it all work and I don't want to make the van project to where uh, you guys can't go the next day and see a new uh, inst you know an installment or something so once that video is done or videos are done um, I'll be releasing them uh, one after the other so you can see the entire build but let me get to work or none of this is going to get done Oh yeah, by the way, Heidi took my truck. It's still got the hitch on it. It's got all the crap in the back. It's got the towing mirrors on it. So it should be interesting. Uh, her drive to work this morning, what that was like. I'll have to talk to her about it. And our ground bees are still over there. Mm.